this is a very common myth and I'm going to mention a few points that I've mentioned in previous videos about the myths we've uncovered already but this is really important because once we know these these facts about dogs these these recurring facts about dogs we can then apply them to a number of myths and actually see them just fall apart before our very eyes because the information um, that we know about dogs completely um, unravels and unpacks the myth very very clearly so the first thing is domestication okay so dogs were domesticated to be companion animals for humans they were bred to live in close confines with humans and because of that they actually prefer and will seek out human company and that's pretty obvious when you actually think about when you come home what does your dog do as soon as they see you they're coming over to say hello to greet you they want to interact with you they want to engage with you and they want to spend time with you um, I've heard many people say that their dogs follow them all around the house and into uh, small rooms where privacy is is a much needed <laughs> a much needed thing but it's not very often achieved so um, and you can guess you know what I'm talking about so there are many situations where you can actually think um, about how your dog reacts when you're at home, when you're around and where they like to be. They like to be with you. Now, of course, that doesn't mean that they don't like to spend time with their own species, of course, um, but dogs were bred to be human companions, to be companions for humans. Um, and it's interesting because not all dogs get along and just like humans. So if you're expecting that you're going to get um, another dog to keep your first dog company um, because you think that you know your dogs are going to be um, loving each other and playing all day with each other well then that just isn't the case because not all dogs get along and just like humans um, some humans that live in close confines just tolerate each other and you can always get a very good idea of how your dogs are feeling in the same environment as each other by understanding how to read their body language clues and things become very clear um, and the about how um, how um, the dogs are, how those dogs are feeling towards each other now of course there may be times where um, those dogs are interacting and playing but you can't expect to get another dog to keep a dog company and expect that to be providing everything that that dog and both dogs need if you haven't provided a range of things in the environment every day on a daily basis for your first dog to um, be able to express all of those instinctive behaviors that they need to do then if you haven't provided that for the first dog then getting the second dog to keep your first dog company it's very likely that you're not going to provide in that way for your second dog either so then you have a situation where we have two dogs that aren't actually able to perform what they need to perform on a daily basis with res respect to a range of different behaviors and activities the most important thing about knowing basic facts about dogs the domestication of dogs why dogs were bred um, the fact that not all dogs like each other or get along um, different dogs have different personalities and they also have different preferred activities that like they like to do as well as their instinctive behaviors that they need to perform on a daily basis um, they also need to be able to incorporate rest into their day and they need to be able to be in an environment that promotes that as well promotes um, rest as well as play as well as exploration um, and when we know all these all these facts about dogs we can't unknow them so what i'm hoping and what i'd really love for you all to do is really take all this information and start to critically evaluate things that you might hear about dogs that somebody might say 
something that you might read on the internet if you're looking for information on dog related topics and just start to critically evaluate that information starting with basing it on the simple facts about dogs that I've talked about in this video and also talked about in, in the earlier videos.